Today, we are in the east mountain of Dongting, just 50 kilometers away from the ancient city of Suzhou, where the Biluochun tea is growing and harvested. And as you can see, we are surrounded by the tea plantations. It's my first time to visit a tea plantation. I'm so excited! Dongting Dongshan, extending over Taihu Lake, is one of the largest freshwater lakes in China. And it is unique to Suzhou, so you won't find it anywhere else. I can't wait to start my tea trip. Let's go! Hello! She said she has been picking tea leaves for over 10 years. That's amazing! Her family has been the tea farmers for generations. Bi Luochun has been harvested in Suzhou for more than 1,000 years. Drinking tea is an ancient custom that we still practice today. The month of March and April are particularly good times for tea picking. It's so beautiful here. So those fruit trees are planted between the tea trees to create the unique fragrance of the flowers and fruits that Bi Luochun is known for. Wow, the tea leaves are very tender. I feel like I have to be extra careful, otherwise I will easily destroy it. To be successful, we need our index finger and the thumb to hold the tea leaf and then remove it with a light, just like this. Hey, Tia, in this month, how many people can pick tea leaves in this month? Uh, two pounds. Although picking tea leaves takes a long time, but each person can only pick around 2 pounds per day. And each pound takes 60 to 70,000 leaf buds. So that's why Bi Luochun tea is so valuable. Oh, today is really satisfying. Tea leaves that don't meet the standard, like not fragrant enough or not tender enough, will be removed and only the best part will be kept. Mmm, it really has a flora and fruity aroma. I can't wait to taste it. We are going to roast the tea. So roasting the tea is the most difficult part of the process, involved with the most steps. The pot temperature and the roasting techniques need to be controlled very precisely. The quality of the tea totally depends on the skills of the tea roasters. And the roasting techniques have been passed down for generations and have been designated into China's national intangible cultural heritage. Little white hair on the leaves are actually the essence of Dongting Bi Luochun. Dongting Bi Luochun translates to green, snail, spring. Green means its color, and snail means its shape, just like the spiral shell of the snail, and it is produced in spring. So now you know the meaning behind the name, and I can't wait to try it. So the premium Dongting Bi Luochun has a delicate brewing process. Generally, you should use the water of about 80 degrees so the freshness of the tea could be tasted. And it is recommended to use a clear glass cup so you can watch the change of the leaves. The tea leaves are slowly stretching. It says Dongting Bi Luochun has 42 different kinds of flavor ingredients. Mm. It tastes a little bit sweet. Both tea and coffee have caffeine, which make you feel refreshed. But Dongting Bi Luochun has more tea, which could make you calm down and relaxed. This is definitely the tea you will fall in love with at the first sip. 